Xylazine 102 – Focus on Wound Care Xylazine is a sedative drug that has been contaminating the U.S. illicit opioid supply. When mixed with other drugs, xylazine varies in color and texture and can be swallowed, smoked, snorted, or injected. Xylazine exposure has been associated with developing distinct skin wounds with necrosis, which may manifest at injection sites or elsewhere, and can occur even when the drug is smoked or snorted. The mechanism of these wounds is unclear, but is likely multifactorial and may involve the direct vasoconstricting effect on local blood vessels, resulting in decreased skin perfusion. Xylazine-associated wounds typically start as purple or red blisters, eventually developing into painful ulcers with scabbing. If wounds due to xylazine exposure develop, it is essential to observe them closely and avoid touching them to promote healing and prevent infection. Xylazine-associated wounds can lead to localized infection, so individuals should watch for symptoms including purulent drainage, redness, warmth, and swelling. A provider can determine if antibiotics are needed. Also, be alert to systemic infection signs such as fevers, chills, rigors, or rapidly progressing redness or pain. If these occur, seek emergency medical care. Let's review some key insights about xylazine-associated wounds. Xylazine-associated wounds are not contagious and can be cared for with standard hand hygiene and precautions. Xylazine-related wounds, when properly cared for with tailored wound care plans, can heal over time. Words matter. Avoid labeling wounds as flesh-eating, Frankenstein, or zombie-like. This language is dehumanizing and stigmatizing. People who use drugs can take measures to reduce xylazine-related harms. Test drugs with xylazine test strips and try to seek an alternate supply if possible. Those who inject drugs should clean all injection sites prior to use. Use sterile supplies every time. Rotate injection sites and avoid injecting near or into existing wounds. Avoid using corrosive solutions like alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, or bleach to clean wounds, as this may affect their healing. If you are concerned you have a localized infection, see your provider for an antibiotics prescription and refrain from using non-prescribed antibiotics. Xylazine-associated wounds can heal using basic wound care, including skin hygiene, durable dressings, and personalized follow-up plans, along with stable access to clean wound supplies and medical supervision. Individuals with xylazine-associated wounds may prefer self-management and should be educated on ways to do so. Clean wounds daily with soap and water. Moisturize healthy skin around the wound and consult a healthcare professional or harm reduction service provider for the appropriate wound care agents to care for your wound. Cover wounds with non-adherent dressings beneath absorbent ones. Secure dressings. Change dressings regularly, especially when saturated or soiled. Watch for signs of infection and seek medical care as needed. Awareness of xylazine-associated wounds and effective wound care are crucial for reducing harm for people who use drugs.